the Taicha. Hey everyone, this is Moss from Skull Bros Tabletop bringing you another update on my Last March of the Tomb Kings. As you can see, I've done a little bit more progress. Mostly, I've gone through and done a lot of Agrax Earthshade washing and also putting some base coats down of the red and gold. Um, I'm having a lot of fun uh, painting this. I also went through, as you can see, painted up a little bit of my chariot. Um, as well as I finished painting all of the horses in the army, which was not much of a, a struggle. Um, as, if you can't guess, this army is supposed to be a very low tabletop quality army. I just want to have an army fully finished, out on the table, ready to go, uh, which I only have one of those armies ready to go, and that is my uh, um, Circle Obros army for Hortz. All my other armies are in various stages of being put together, gray and slightly painted or primed. So this is um, kind of a big thing just to get an army done so that I have something to play with and then I can spend more time on some of my other armies that I've wanted to spend some time on for a while. Um, so one thing I want to talk about though is my, my chariot. Um, it's very vibrant colored with the, the strong teal aqua color with the red. And I really enjoyed how that came out. I'm not fully done with that, um, as I'm not done with any of the army, or any of the army, but I plan to get that done hopefully by the end of the month. Um, and there's just a few more models that have no paint on them yet, just their base coat, and I'm hoping to get paint on everything with probably this weekend. Uh, I, yeah. So as you can see, one thing with, uh, Kings of War is that you don't have any model removal. You instead have a a base. You can have your models individually based on their, their standard, like on the bases that you would have expected from a Warhammer army. But then the other thing is you kind of have these, because there's no model removal, you just remove the entire unit as a whole when it dies. You, um, you can do something called multi-basing, where basically you have a movement tray sized unit for what whatever the size unit needs to be and you can put as many figures on there as you want um, now I'm slightly abusing this I'll be honest where I am putting six models onto a base size that normally would have ten um, the bases that you're seeing them currently on is not there these are not the final bases that they will be on these are purely there for me to paint and have something to hold on to while I paint. Um, but I've already gone through and measured out the total sizes of bases, and I will be multi-basing these, meaning that um, in Kings of War, you have several different main types of units. For an infantry unit, you have a, a troop, which in Warhammer terms, that's a five wide by two deep unit. Um, then you have a regiment, which going back to Warhammer terms is going to be five wide and four deep. Then you have a horde, which is 10 wide and 4 deep. And then some units, not all, but a few have the ability to go into something called the legion, which is 10 wide, 6 deep. Um, and because I want the maximum flexibility within my army, I am mounting all of my, my tomb kings onto a troop bases. So on each troop base, I will have 6 skeletons rather than 10. Um, like what you would normally have in Warhammer, and this really doesn't matter too much just because of how the model removal works in the game, how unit removal works. Um, and, you know, some people don't like the idea of this, but I was always a uh, one that in Warhammer I made uh, unit fillers to kind of make my army go a little bit further um, for the, the cost of model compared to how many models I needed to paint and things like that. Um, my hope is that I'm going to go through and do some nice bases so that the army looks like it's a shambling horde, it looks good, and it doesn't just look like I'm putting as few models onto the base as possible. So, as in the next little bit, I should be getting my, uh, the, I bought some crackle paint, which I think will come next week, um, and I'm going to go through and do some desert crackle bases so that the army looks like they're on a dry desert. And I'm going to have fun, hopefully that, that works out. Now, the other thing is, this army is very low quality painted. It's one of these things where I'm just trying to get an army done, like I've said, 
just so I have something done, and then I can focus on some of my other armies that I, I want to paint up that I already have and have been sitting in as gray for a while. But again, this video is just a way to keep me motivated um, to show you guys that I'm still working on my last March of the Tomb Kings. And in the next little bit, I hope to get a, uh, as soon as this army's done, get a battle report with me and Skull of the Empire of the Dust versus his undead. So I look forward to doing that. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy and uh, see you around.